Hey, video here. Hi everyone and welcome back. DwarfLab released an amazing upgrade for the DOS 3 in 2025. Currently still in beta testing and we are talking about 120 seconds exposures for the DOS 3. Having the option of longer exposures will also help us to capture fainter deep sky objects because we'll get the more photons and the signal to noise ratio will be better. I went outside with the door 3 and the most important thing you need to do is to have a proper polar alignment. For this test I actually tried two times. First time clouds were coming fast, I heard it and the polar alignment was not good. I had five degrees or more uh, error and because of that I couldn't get uh, good results at two minutes exposure time. However, second time it was clear when I started and I had more time to use the EQ mode feature to get a more accurate alignment and I was able to get a good alignment with two degrees error. That was enough to be able to get good results with uh, 120 seconds exposures using the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. So the first thing you need to do is to use the EQ mode feature from the app and try to get the best polar alignment possible. I understand now they optimize the EQ mode feature to be able to fine tuning easier. So this will be also be helpful. Also you can check my full tutorial on polar alignment with the Dwarfsky Smart Telescope to get the best polar alignment possible. And this will help you a lot to get good results when imaging with 120 seconds exposure time. After finishing the polar alignment, I made the first calibration, autofocus, selected the Orion Nebula with the go to feature in Atlas, and I was almost ready to start the imaging plan. I still needed to have dark frames. I forgot about them, so I had to go place the Andy filter here on the door 3. Then I turned the optical tube like this and took dark frames of 120 seconds at the temperature that was at the moment outside. After I took also the dark frames, I had to decide the exposure time. And because we had close to F4, uh, the door 3 being very fast and it will give us bright images, with two minutes exposure time, I had to lower the gain. And my question was between zero gain and 20. And at two minutes, I thought to go gain 20. Going gain 20 was not bad. However, the core was a little bit too bright and gain 20. Next time, I'll probably just go gain a zero for very bright objects like Orion Nebula and Andromeda Galaxy when using two minutes exposure time with the Dwarf 2. I've selected 120 seconds exposure time, gain 20, and press start. Let me show you first a short stack of just a few images of 120 seconds with Orion Nebula capture with the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. I was really impressed with the quality and signal to noise ratio on uh, this short test, also on single exposures. And let's go now to the PC. We are now here on the PC and we have the images captured with the Dorsey Smart Telescope using 120 seconds exposure time. And let's zoom in a little bit and take a look also at the stars. This is one of the images that was also stacked. And we can see here, look, round stars, round stars at 120 second exposure time. I do want to import this image also in PC Insight to check it out better. But first let's take also a look at the felt ones. So as I mentioned before, I just, I test it early on at the first release of the feature in the beta testing app. Already improved ones were, uh, I believe were made on the stacking uh, algorithm. Here it shows uh, felt on these images. However, you see the stars are also round. On this we had uh, some small trails on uh, one of them, actually of in uh, three images. Here we had some small trails. However, I was able to stack all these images in serial and with the improvements that Dovleb will still make on the feature and on the stacking algorithm, they should be able to stack all uh, good images. 
using the live staking app. Having the possibility to go with a longer exposure time is a huge improvement because we'll be able to get a more signal in each image. This will result in a better quality image. We'll be able to get a more signal in less time. It will also help us to capture fainter deep sky objects because we will get more photons and the signal to noise ratio will be better. We are now in PixInsight and here we do have a single exposure of 120 seconds captured with the Dorsey Smart Telescope. Let's zoom in a little bit here also. And this is not depaired. We'll go here at Script Image Analysis and select Aberration Inspector. Press OK. And here it will show us all the corners of the images, the center, the upper part, lower part and the image corners. And looking here, we can see the stars look good everywhere in the image. We do not have any aberrations, chromatic aberrations or distortions. And I'm really happy to see that. By the way, this is a new DOS 3 unit. The first one I got in September, and it has some small pinch optics aberrations that this new unit does not have. As I understand, the first units that were released, some of them, they had this issue. Mine had a little bit. However, after testing this new one, I've noticed here, the stars look great, even at two minute uh, exposures. No coma, no astigmatism, no pinch optics. Everything looks great. And the stars are also round and sharp at two minutes exposure time. And this is fantastic news. Door 3 pushed the limits and gave us a nice gift for the new year in 2025. And here we have the stacked image in serial, only eight exposures of two minutes. Almost forgot to say that. Almost forgot to say the integration time. So this is, was a short test of uh, eight images of two minutes. And looking at the result, I was really impressed. Here we do have the starless image. So when I processed, I used also the star mass and the starless image, process the starless image without saturating the stars and then place the stars back. And here we have the result. Let's go here and zoom in 100%. So here we do have the running man nebula and I managed to get this very nice blues. For this test, I just uh, used the Astro filter and I was still able to get in post-processing the reds. And look here, we can see also faint dust here in the background is visible, darker but visible. You can see it here. Look at the stars, the nebula features, the dark clouds and the H alpha region. Let's zoom even more. This was only 16 minutes integration time. We have a huge leap with the new Dorsey Smart Telescope. And now with the big improvements, the quality control is better. As you noticed before, I didn't have any aberrations, no chromatic aberrations, no uh, uh, geometrical aberrations, no coma, no astigmatism, no pinch optics. And with the 120 seconds exposure time, we have now a better signal to noise ratio in our images. And I think this uh, feature does make the DOS 3 the king of smart telescopes on a price under $1,000. Now let's take a look at uh, this uh, animation that I made using the DOS 3 image tag that I've processed and showed you. And we can see here also the stars moving a little bit. We have a 3D effect. Can obtain also beautiful animation, high quality images from the DOS 3 data that you process. And I was really impressed with the results with only 16 minutes integration time. Now let's take a first look at the second test that I took with the DOS 3 at 120 seconds exposures. I imaged Messier 81 and 82 galaxies. I had captured 10 images, but I did have some error and the live stacking was also of five minutes exposures. I had a lot of satellite trails. Look <laughs> how many I had. Let's zoom in a little bit on the images and look at the stars. See, round stars. And even on the corners, we do have round stars. Two minutes exposure time. With the 
free and we do have a lot of uh, software improvements here also it shows us the temperature now and this is one uh, thing that i've asked for from last year to have visible the temperature in our files and the the sensor temperature was at 10 degrees celsius at two minutes that's very good and here we have the image saved in png without noise reduction a stack of five images and we can see also a smaller galaxy here in the corner and let's see also this other image this was also applied noise reduction in the dwarf lab app and i can say i was very impressed with the noise reduction here looking zooming in closer we can see a lot of details here in m82 and also in m81 without having the noise i think they still need to work more on on the feature because we do see some uh, small artifacts here some small uh, dark spots they still need to make some small improvements but this was only 10 minutes integration time and having this image looks very similar with the one that i processed after in pix inside i don't want to show you that image also so here i do have some feedback i think would be a very important upgrade to give us also a 32-bit linear stack image file that is not stretched to be able to get the best processing possible in different uh, photography software like PixInsight. These were my uh, test results on 120 seconds exposure time. Let's check again the Orion Nebula, zoom again at 100%. I was really impressed with the result, uh, the quality that I was able to get in 16 minutes integration time, just eight photos of two minutes. By the way, let me know what you think about this new feature, 120 seconds. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. After doing this test, I have to say I'm very pleased with the new updates for the Dwarf Smart Telescope. Dwarf Lab made a really good job and it will improve the Dwarf Smart Telescope further. I think Dwarf 3 is now the best smart telescope that I reviewed so far and I will uh, get uh, more data for a full review. The videos that you saw on YouTube in 2024, I wouldn't call them a full review because they made a lot of upgrades also on the unit, better quality control and a lot of software improvements like Mosaic Mode that is now available, like the contrast enhancement and noise reduction and of course the 120 seconds exposure time feature that at this moment is currently available only for beta testing but should be available soon in a future public update please let me know what do you think in the comments if you have any questions and i do want to give big thanks to all the channel members that are supporting the channel i will share some more data in the sharing folder for uh, the members to download if you want to support the channel too and also get access to master photography data do hit the join button and we'll share also the data from uh, this test with the 120 seconds exposure time thanks for watching hope you find the video useful and i wish you all clear sky